how do you know that white privilege exists? And, and, and I'm asking you this for the, it's one of these things that we throw out all that, we just throw it around, like white privilege, white privilege, white privilege, right? We throw these co- terms and concepts out. But we rarely stop and say, wait, hang on, what does that mean? What are we actually really talking about? What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Professor has had enough of anti-white double standard. Okay, this is double standard by anti-white. This is going to be amazing. I love us check this video out together. Let's get right to today's video. The, the lighter it is, so you see like really light, that means the, the non-Hispanic white population is less than 25% in these counties. These are all counties, okay? So when it's really light, like here, here, because these are all Mexicans all along the border, okay? Uh, but here, the really dark, so up here in Maine and so on, Maine's a really white state, or northern Michigan, really, really white. Um, and then when you see these light counties here in different places, those are all Native American reservations, okay? So, but you notice how all along here, it's, it's much lighter, meaning that the percentage of white people is much less. So, you know, if you grow up around these areas or people that grew up in urban all along the eastern seaboard or in California, you think like, whoa, you know, the U.S. isn't very, it's, it's not very white, like there are no white people, but you got to go in the center of the country here. And then suddenly, you know, the, the black and brown people start to diminish in numbers tremendously. Mm. So, you know, you, you, you're here at State College with Penn State, but, you know, if you were up in Maine somewhere, you would literally be the only Indian. The, so this is 2010, the light here, and 2020, the darker, okay? And now this is the total number in the population in millions, and this is the percentage. So in 2010, 63.7% of the U.S. population was white non-Hispanic. And then it shrunk to 57.8. So it shrunk by 6% oh. in 10 years, owing to new immigrants coming in and the birth rate among black and brown people a little bit higher, mostly brown people, less black people. So here is the population of white people. Look at the Hispanic population's gone up, went up in 10 years. Black population went up by a couple million in 10 years, but it went down in percentage, huh. right? And then these, this is mostly Asians here, Indians, South Asians, and East Asians, okay? So just think about it. the number of white people is diminishing and will slowly, you know, in, Cal- in places like California, it, it, they're, the white people are the minority. Okay, poor Americans, all right? Uh, I wanna, I'd, I'd like you to, to comment on this, if you could. White people, of, these are, of all the poor, this circle represents all Americans who are considered to be poor. It's 42.8, so 43% are white. You've heard the term white privilege. What do you think about that in relation to this? I think you hear a lot of things, but maybe people don't look at like facts and statistics about this. I mean, just looking at this graph, I mean, like a lot more white Americans in America are, I guess, poor than other racial groups. Well, majority of people who are poor are not white, but you know, not by much, right? Because it's, you know, it's, it's... I mean, it's 42%. You know, of the, that's pretty big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you add up everybody else, everyone else there is, is, is black or brown. But nonetheless, it's, it's close to being half and half. Okay, so what, first off, what's white privilege? I don't know how to answer that. Oh, well, just give it a shot. What's, what, if someone say, hey, Phil, you go back, to, you go back okay. to, to China, one of your family members says, hey, like, well, what is this thing, white privilege, that we talk about, that everybody's talking about in the U.S.? I think definitely if you look at the trends in corporations, you can see a lot more white people near like the executives, um, like the C-suite or whatever. Yeah. Um, You see maybe more white people in like colleges, like College of Engineering, you see a lot more white people. Uh Um, Stuff like that, like career stuff is what one point I could point out right now. Um, I think like my version of white privilege is when um, like someone who's the same as me, but happens to be white, like Sally. Sally's also white, but we have like, we're very similar. She has more privileges for things over me because I'm a person of color. Yeah, but what though? Like, do you, do you have any, 
Give, can you have an example of what like that what that might look like? Um, it could be in like the job market or academically or just like I don't know. Like I feel like there's certain things that uh, black like I mean people of color are taught at home that yeah. make us or like that we're taught that like we're different from other. Like from white people sometimes. Okay, okay, but is that privilege or is that? Well, I think it, it, it's like they have privileges that everyone should get. Hmm. How do you know that white privilege exists? And 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 I'm asking you this for the. It's one of these things that we throw out all. That, we just throw it around like white privilege, white privilege, white privilege. Right? We throw these co- terms and concepts out, but we rarely stop and say, "Wait, hang on. What does that mean? What are we actually really talking about?" Right, and so so you get you you get where I'm going here because this is this is not a trap, and it's like and hey, by the way, and if you're watching, it's like she's not going to have an answer to this question. Okay, how old are you? Nineteen. She's. Hang on. Can you zoom in on my face? Make sure I'm on the stream. Okay, go ahead, slow. Right here. I'm really white. I'm I'm white. I mean, I'm white out. I got to try. Okay, listen, man. Uh, Lena is 19 years old, okay? I'm asking her a really difficult question in front of a room full of people. And she's not gonna be able to answer this question. But we're gonna, we're gonna, but I'm gonna ask her to try, okay? So it's cool, all right? And you're not smarter than her, okay? Keep that in mind. So how do you know it exists? Like things that we've seen in history so far. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. have shown us that white privilege is real. Yeah, definitely. Definitely in terms of history. I mean, there's no question that it's real. I mean, the, what, you know, and there's generational privilege. Yeah. And this is like the miracle of compound interest, right? You know, when you, when you gather more of the wealth and then you invest that wealth, it's not, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to look at how the United States was set up. It's like with the Brits in India before you, you know, you kicked them out, that you that the people who were able to collect more of that wealth from themselves are going to invest it and they're going to be wealthier. So, of course, white people have more wealth and so on. Like, oh, my God, right? Okay, so history. Have you ever stopped to question whether white privilege is really an operation? Not really. Uh-huh. Okay, that's cool. That's a, that's a fair answer. I mean, we're going to talk about it because that's part of what this class is, you know, because it is an operation for sure. But, you know, one of the things is it's really important to see the places in which it's an operation. I like that he actually gave the reference that you are not smarter than her, irrespective of how she answers the question. That itself, it's, it's beautiful to you. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love what he said right there. It's just that <clears throat> white privilege does not exist. It's, it's funny, but it does not exist. Because if white privilege exists, black Hispanic won't have opportunity in this 2024 to be in any position, to go to any school, to get any job in the first place. You understand? So, in 2024, there is no job, no position, no school that a white man can go that a black man cannot go. There is no high of height of extent of achievement that a white man can achieve that a black man cannot achieve in 2024. In this 21st century, guys, like, Barack Obama is a black man. He became the president. That is the highest position that, that anyone can achieve in the U.S. That is the highest, being a president. And a black man has, be, has been a president before. So, saying that alone is not enough, but there is no white privilege. This is... I've seen a lot of black people who hide under this word to feel victim. They want to play that victim role, that they are the victims. Then there's white supremacy over them. There is no garden shit like that, guys. Walk your ass out. It's as simple as that. If you feel as a victim, become a victor or a victory. Grow yourself out. Don't feel limited or feel like um, a white man won an award it says it's because it's white 
it's not because he's white it's because he worked his ass off to be in that position he is nothing comes easy it's it's funny how some people hide under the word of white supremacy a lot of black black people a lot of black people i will say that and hispanic the white they hide under the word of white privilege that is the cover that is a shield right now to play that victim role of not getting to the extent they want to get to it's 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 terrible that in 2024 we are seeing or to a discussion of discussing or talking about white supremacy whereas there's no guarantee like that do you want to know what white supremacy really is let's go to the 16th century so the 17th centuries you know what white supremacy what is the full definition of white supremacy when a black can't speak properly when the black eyes are, are afraid that is what is what that's what's called white supremacy when the black have no right to vote or have no right to own a house, a home of their own, that is white supremacy, guys. Not in 2024. That is not happening. There is no position a white man can achieve that a black man cannot achieve. If you can name one for me, just one. Then I'll, I'll literally delete this video that I have the same rubbish. And this set, dispensation we are in, in this 2024, there is no guarantee as white supremacy, guys. That's it's off. Don't play the victim. Don't play like you're being naive. You're being you're being bullied. In this in 2024, guys, the white people are afraid to make a full sentence without provoking the black person. Because I feel like any word they say, you call them racist. In this in 2024, guys. I know that the um, black who has been enslaved. If you check my lineage, I'm sure my four forefathers <laughs> was being enslaved. It's possible. But that is in the past. If we keep on carrying the past to the future, we will never move forward. That is what I keep on saying, guys. It has happened. There is no current white person that ever owned a slave that ever encouraged slavery. We have to move forward. What is the reparation that a black that a white man have to give to a, that a white man have to do to do for a black man? So the black man can totally forgive them that oh okay you're no longer a racist. Oh your your four four your four 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 father sins has been forgiven. There is no guarantee as that. In US that I try to have I think a conference about reparation of the black people but the, the word white supremacy is still going on. The word racism is still increasing. Why? Because there is no ending to this shit. There is no ending. There is no ending. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can, guys. As the professor said, it's, it's a chance that the white man is on top in America. It's because of, let me see, um, Generational wealth. Um, probably their forefathers four were there for us to they acquire some things and give to their children, children, children. And they are, the white people are more in numbers in the US. They are, but they are reducing every single thing. Like, the whites are trying to reduce them because they are mixing breed with the black and Hispanic. Comment down below. Talk about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video as many as you can. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808, that dump, dump shaker, oh bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater, baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore, buku bitch, in my bed, I got scales all